Hey everyone, we've got another digital walkthrough today, and this is specimen 1532 in our collection. We're going to be using the Cardioscape app as we usually do. Remember, this is free for Mac and Windows, and you can download this at www.learnchd.com. That's www.learnchd.com. Entirely free and allows you to access over a hundred high quality, fully interactive 3D scans of actual heart specimens to kind of learn cardiac anatomy of the congenitally malformed heart. So today we'll take a look at this double inlet left ventricle. And it'll take a second to load. And now here we've got the model. We see we have the heart and the lungs are still on block with this specimen. The heart would have sat in the chest like this with the anterior surface coming out towards the screen posterior surface into the screen, and then superior head up here, inferior legs down here, left would be over here, and then right would be over here. Now right off the bat we can see part of the anterior wall has been removed, and there's this conduit coming off of the ventricular apex. But let's start off as we usually do, which is by trying to identify what is the right atrial appendage, at least externally, and it seems like here there is an appendage that if it were together would be pyramidal, uh, broad-based, or triangular in shape. And so when we look inside this atrium, we do see that there's pectinate muscles that spill outside the confines of the appendage, all consistent with a morphologic right atrium. And here is the oval fossa that is intact. So here's the oval fossa, there is no ASD. Here's the tendon of Totoro right here, and here's the mouth of the coronary sinus. Remember that the mouth of the coronary sinus, the tendon of Totoro, and the right-sided atrioventricular junction form what is called the triangle of cock, which is usually uh, a nice structure that delineates where the atrioventricular node would sit, and it's usually at the apex of this triangle. And so if we were to use that rule here, Here's the tendon of Totoro, here's the coronary sinus, here's the right-sided atrioventricular junction. We would expect the atrioventricular node to live here. But we'll see whether or not we actually think that will hold true. But then we come across into this ventricle here, and it looks like this ventricle actually has fine crisscross trabeculations consistent with the morphologic left ventricle. And we also immediately see that there is a right-sided atrioventricular valve, but here, in the posterior aspect, there also is a left-sided atrioventricular valve that is opening up into this morphologic left ventricle. So we are dealing with a heart that has double inlet left ventricle. It also appears that this ventricular septum is intact, at least from this view. And we see that there actually is this conduit that arises from the apex of the morphologic left ventricle, obviously surgically placed. Now when we follow this back, we can see that this conduit continues and actually inserts into the descending aorta. So this is a left ventricle to aortic conduit that's been surgically placed. Now when we rotate this heart a little bit and we can zoom out a little bit, we do find that anterior and leftward to this morphologic left ventricle is another hypoplastic ventricle. This is the right ventricle. And when we look at the great vessels, we do find that the aorta, here's that, arises from this hypoplastic right ventricle. And that the pulmonary trunk actually arises from within the morphologic left ventricle, although it is not visualized in this particular scan. So here's the hypoplastic right ventricle again. Here's the ascending aorta arising from that right ventricle. Here's the transverse arch, and then you see the arch dives back uh, into the descending aorta here. And then there is this left ventricle to descending aortic conduit that's placed here. So an interesting example of double inlet left ventricle with an anterior and leftward morphologic right ventricle and discordant ventriculo-arterial connections. So this heart in all has 
usual systemic venous connections, and here's the superior cable vein draining into the roof of the right atrium. Usual atrial arrangement with an intact atrial septum. Double inlet left ventricle. And then discordant ventricular arterial connections. Be sure to check out this heart on Cardioscape on the app itself. And also check out the video that should be coming later this week on a specimen walkthrough of the specimen itself.